Hello, today I'll be showing you how to get a Sega Genesis emulator on your iDevice and how to play those ROMs. Now here I have got GBA for iOS. The reason is, is because here I can now search up, search up ROMs and this is one of the only, GBA for iOS is literally I think the only one where you can search up, search up these ROMs. So if I click search and I try Sonic, Sega Genesis, uh, Sonic, um, I'm not sure, just, so, okay, just have Sonic the Hedgehog. And so this is where, with this, you can search up all of them. There is a complicated way of doing it through the computer, but there is no need to do that when you can just do it here. Open in GBA for iOS. And I have Sonic the Hedgehog, and it won't run because, you know, it's, a, it's not for GBA. So if I, I can close this, I'll just, actually, I'll just open it up first. As you can see, nothing's happening. Quick game. So now, with GBA for iOS, if I exit this, here in Emu for iOS, on this page, I can go down to the MD, so the Master Drive Emulator, and Sega Genesis, to install. If it's just blank, there's no icon, but don't worry, it's just it's always like that. Now open up Master Drive. Do load game. From code signature, you go back one. And you click on docu documents. Now here you can see Sonic the Hedgehog. Zip. Open it up. Turn the sound on. Yes. You can't really see the controls, I'm going to try turning it portrait, where the controls are more there. And as you can see, Here, I actually don't seem to be pressing anything. The controls are a bit dodgy. Okay, that's just an advert. Sorry about that. <laughs> Simply press, really, you don't need any other button apart from the up button, as far as I'm aware. And it's, it, the up button's extremely visible. Hmm. Seems to be... Sorry about that, I'm just trying to get it to him. Yeah, now I've got it, okay. If you didn't see what I did, there's the buttons on the... the yeah, you press the select button to let it jump. And I haven't got great lighting, I'm afraid, where I am. 
Whoops. But, so I can't see the controls well. But really, you don't need to see them amazing. Because as far as I'm aware, I, don't, I haven't played Sonic for, for I don't know how long. But, yeah. You pretty much, as far as I'm aware, just go left and right with the buttons it shows. And there's just a little select button here. In the bottom right. That you can just press and it works fine. So then there's a pause button actually as well, which is cool. The button at the start of the game, you can pause it, which is in the if you go down, if because I'm in portrait right now, switch the landscape, see if that. Um, go down to the bottom. Very bottom centre, there's two buttons. The right one makes it so it pauses it. And the left one, I think, speeds it up. But I'm not sure. So I can pause it, restart it. I can jump with this button as well, and this button, and this button. Pretty much anywhere on the right hand side, any of these buttons you can jump with. So yeah, I think I'm in fast, fast, faster mode right now. But you'll probably know how to do something with Hedgehog more than me. Okay, so I can pause it if I want. To get back, oh yeah, okay, X, whoops, do game, play again. In the top right corner, there, there doesn't look like to be anything. You just press the top right corner, and then this comes up. And you can just say save states, Sonic the Hedgehog. I think it automatically saves once you've paused, so which is good. And so I can now exit. And when you click exit, it actually exits the app. And so that is how you get Sonic the Hedgehog uh, and Sega Genesis emulator on your iDevice. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, rate and subscribe. Thank you very much and goodbye.